Hi, it's Lou Theodore and it is day 73 of 100 videos in 100 days. And uh, today I've had a bit of a restless, um, agitated, unsettled kind of day. And, you know, there are various circumstances I can point to you about, you know, why that would be the case. But actually it was um, on the bus, I was looking at Instagram and I saw a friend's post uh, his friend's also an illustrator and it suddenly dawned on me actually what this this very familiar feeling was and why it's here and it's because I haven't been drawing enough I have haven't been doing very many quick um, sort of observational sketches drawings recently and you know there's reasons for that but it has this really profound effect on me. And when people say to me, oh, it must be lovely to be able to draw or have drawing as a hobby, all that sort of thing. Of course, that's true on one level, but actually there is a much bigger story about drawing for me. And, um, you know, I guess if it would be the same if you were a music musician and it was about playing music, that sort of thing. I, I don't think it's sort of exclusive to um, visual artists. But it's about um, drawing is actually, it's how I navigate the world. It's um, how I get my ideas. It's how I see things clearly. It's about how I link ideas up. So, for instance, the I've done loads, dozens and dozens of drawings of people on the bus. Um, and, you know, about the conversations I've had with them or um, about overheard conversations. And that's kind of enabled me to link to a much bigger idea, which is about uh, loneliness and social isolation and uh, connecting and that sort of thing. Uh, but I would never have come... That idea and that whole concept would never have occurred if I wasn't drawing. So it's a really, really key thing for me to include in part of my life. And I don't mean sort of um, commission drawings or that sort of thing. I mean just drawing for the sake of drawing to observe the world, to be in the now, to take notice. And that makes me feel connected and energized and inspired and all those sorts of things but somehow I find it so easy to forget that I allow you know life to get in the way uh, other things to be prioritized and I don't make time for it which is bonkers utterly bonkers when I know uh, the impact of not doing it and it doesn't even have to be great swathes of time. You know, if I draw for 30 minutes, 40 minutes a day, it makes a huge difference to my positivity, my energy level, uh, the ins inspiration is sparking, all those sorts of things. So why on earth, why on earth am I not prioritizing that? Um, so that's something I really need to pick up on I need to take seriously and get it in the diary and even if it means that I have to get up an hour earlier every day sometimes to get it included it needs to be included um, I'm also sort of picked up again the um, the year in 12 weeks book which is all about how you can achieve as much in 12 weeks as you can in a whole year in 12 months and I'm working my way through that so what with that and this observation about not drawing and the impact of that, it's kind of pointing me towards actually I need to be um, much more organised and strategic about how I manage my own time. And it's not just managing it from um, a productivity work perspective, but it's about actively managing things for, you know, your own well-being to keep yourself um, up and ticking over and inspired and to give yourself what you know that you need. So I'm going to read more of that book tonight and keep progressing with that. Um, 
and I think I also may try and do a bit of drawing although uh, it'll probably be off the TV which is a little bit unsatisfying it's never as good as drawing uh, real people out and about but um, hey ho needs must and at least it will be a start and um, I think yeah I'm just going to schedule that time in to do that observational drawing because it's so important to me and that's just it isn't it make it a priority you know make give yourself the best chance to be inspired and productive and buoyant and all of those things you know because quite often they can be very simple things that do that you know like taking a walk seeing the sea um pottering in the garden they can be quite simple things but they can have a really quite a big they can have a big impact on us so lesson learnt. i don't know why i keep forgetting it i don't know why i have to keep relearning the lesson but it appears that i do uh, so forward forward and uh, tomorrow there will be observational drawing um, yeah I'll check in with you tomorrow and hopefully uh, agitated restless Lou will have departed <laughs>